From the one and only, this is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Good morning, I'm Andrew Perez. Here's a look at stories making news on this Sunday morning. Two people are dead and 10 others injured after two boats collided right off Cuba's Cane. A witness tells us he called 911 Friday night after seeing one boat overturn and the other one sinking. Crews rushed 10 people to the hospital, but one did not survive. One victim refused transport and rescuers found the body of a 12th person in the water after hours of searching. Investigators have not said why those boaters crashed in the first place. Two apparent shooting victims arriving at Jackson Memorial Hospital within minutes of each other last night. Police say a friend brought the first victim to the hospital after he was shot in the leg near Northwest 17th Avenue and 68th Street. Ten minutes later, police say a second gunshot victim arrived at the hospital in a red Dodge truck. It's not clear how either is doing. Officers have not determined if they were injured in the same shooting. As many as 40,000 people celebrated the LGBTQ plus community in Wilton Manors at the Stonewall Pride Festival. People partied at a street fair late into the night. City leaders say their number one focus has always been safety. Commissioners say more than $90,000 was spent on safety measures. It's a huge jump from what once cost $50,000. Also, today is Juneteenth, and South Florida is celebrating the newly recognized national holiday. Miami Beach hosted the third annual Juneteenth Freedom Day celebration at Pride Park. The event featured musical performances, guest speakers, and over in Deerfield Beach, people enjoyed entertainment, food, and children's activities as the Juneteenth Celebration Freedom Festival continued this year. Juneteenth celebrates the end of slavery in the U.S. Remember, as breaking news happens, we've got you covered on air, but also online. You can head to our website, local10.com, for more.